One-Way Mirrors by Aidan Ellis The first one-way mirror, also called a two-way mirror, was invented by Emile Bloch on February 17, 1903. They were first called transparent mirrors in her patent. She was the subject of the Emperor of Russia, and she worked in Cincinnati, Ohio. One-way mirrors were traditionally used in interrogation rooms, so the cop could see the suspect, but the suspect could not see the cop. For a regular mirror, you start off with a pane of glass. The glass is silvered, which is a process of spraying liquid silver on one side of the glass. Nowadays, aluminum is used because it is cheaper. Next, the non-silvered side of the glass is painted with an opaque color, usually black. If the paint was not there, you could faintly see the wall behind the mirror. For a one-way mirror, the pane of glass is silvered less densely so some light can get through. One-way mirrors are not painted with a black background because the person needs to be able to see through the back of the mirror. If a one-way mirror is placed in an interrogation room, the suspect's room will be lit up and the cop's room would be dark. The cop's dark room acts as the opaque background for the mirror, but the cop is still able to see through the one-way mirror. The suspect's room is lit up so more light is reflected on the mirror and the suspect cannot see through the mirror. And that is how one-way mirrors work.